Jazz, you want another drink? You want another drink? Good job. Welcome to Hershberger's Miracle Homestead. We invite you to join us every Wednesday and Saturday. Good morning and welcome to Hershberger's Miracle Homestead with a golden thought. It's a beautiful, gorgeous morning after having days in the 90s and all. This morning it is right at, what, 10 o'clock now? 9.59 and it's right at 70 degrees. So it is lovely out here and overcast. Anyway, I have zip tie in my hand. You might wonder what I have plans for a zip tie for. We had a tomato plant that was planted in a small container and I've learned it needs a bigger container because we've had a lot of wind and this container has blown over and blown over and blown over. A strawberry barrel there, it was beside that. And I don't know how many times it blew over into the strawberries or back onto the beans or just missed it all and blew over. So I needed to solve that situation. We lost a lot of tomatoes and the plant looks like it needs help. But anyway, I think we can salvage it. Hole comes down here and I'm going to zip tie the tomato cage to the pole. The house will give a lot of protection from wind, but just in case, I don't want the tomato plant to take another tumble. So that is what my zip tie was for. We'll go get Jasmine, get the water going, and we'll get busy. Go right over this way, Jazz. Uh-huh. This is the gardening with wicking containers that we made. There's corrugated piping in the bottom, which creates a water reservoir. And it does great in helping the uh, plants have water during the heat of the day. We go over this way, Jazz. Where are you going? Oh, you getting a drink? Okay, get a drink. You like the water? Okay, Marcy's going to get the hose now. You have to water this one. Wait. Sorry, right, Jazz, you want another drink? You want another drink? Good job. I didn't think you were very thirsty. Okay, here's another one. This row here, these are lima beans here that I'm watering. Okay, I have one more over here. Okay, Jasmine, let me fix the leash. You got it tangled up in your leg. There you go. Good girl. We'll water this tomato plant now. Now water the beans. These are bell peppers. This is a banana pepper, and it is not wicking, so it's water from the top. There are onions. All right, Dad, and I have a squash here. That's struggling, but I'll still water it. This is a begonia here. It's actually two different kinds. This one. And back here, it's actually an old ice cream uh, bucket that we painted. Here's where the tomato plant had been. And it would fall over here into the strawberries. This is also a 55 gallon drum. This is an ever bearing here. That back there is a different kind. But this is actually blooming. There's a little strawberry on it. You gonna come in here, Jasmine? Good girl. Okay, we have we have three clay pots that are 
going down the center of the wa uh, strawberry tower. We water down the top and I have the lid to put on. It's actually the tray that you would set the plant on, but I use it as a lid. But then the water will seep through the clay. And then it's just my idea about always water a little bit from the top too because as the water goes down, the bottom plants will get moisture, but not the top. That's just my thinking. But anyway. We'll have to see then what time to... Here it comes. And then put the top back on. Okay. We have bell peppers here. Let me get this tighter hold on the leash so it doesn't... Bell pepper here. There's a petunia. Here's some more limes. Okay, down here's another wicking. This one is also an old container we had. So it's water from the top. This one is wicking. <laughs> Needless to say, it's easier without a dog on your arm, but I like my dogs. This is also part of the green bean family that we got the 31 quart from. Wicking. You let me see, Jasmine. There we go. These are some pretty zinnias. The container isn't really deep enough, so we thought, well, we'll put them in, we'll see just what happens, and, and at least we have flowers, but this, when we cut the barrels out there to plant the lima beans in, we wanted plenty of dirt for, because we didn't know what we were going to put in the barrels. Oof. We cut the barrel about a fourth of the way down, so this is a shallow end of that barrel. But hey, they're beautiful flowers. Here's another strawberry barrel that we fixed. And look at the lid off. Into the season, the company put strawberry plants on sale. And these are supposed to come back year after year. So we went ahead and got them and plucked the blooms as they were blooming to, so the energy of the plant can go into the plant. And this is what we have. And as runs are coming along, we put it in an empty slot. So hopefully we can have a barrel full of strawberries till next spring. I can see it. <laughs> Didn't want to get you wet, huh? I like to come all the way down so the hose is stretched out. Then water is to come back up. You don't have to pull hose so hard. These are the contender green beans. All along the house is contender green beans. We have bell peppers. Come this way, Jazz. Oh. Okay, Here are beets. There again, this is the shallow end of the big barrels. 
And we knew it's probably a little bit too shallow for beets, but we thought, well, we won't know until we try. This is a hibiscus bush. More contender green beans. One more jasmine, and then I think we'll be done. There you go. Okay, it's gonna cut the water off. Good evening. We're several weeks after videoing that with Jasmine with me and watering the garden. And we want to thank you for joining us. Um, she was not with me for everything. Behind us are sweet potatoes and red potatoes. And we have cucumbers down that way and on the porch are flowers. But anyway, um, just a quick update on the contender green beans. We got a total of 42 quart that we processed and fresh eating. We're so excited about that. But we might have one more picking and then the plants will be ready to pull out and probably put more in for, fall, for a little fall garden. And our next video should be on facing the fear of a pressure canner, because that was me. And I'm glad I did, because now we have beans to enjoy. Again, I want to thank you for joining us, and stay tuned for the Golden Thought. Our brother Buddy was brain damaged at birth. He's epileptic and nonverbal. He's always been a very special part of our family. We included him in the Golden Thought as a way of encouraging anyone who has a special needs person in their life. Hi, we want to welcome you to another Golden Thought, and I am Martha. This is my very special twin brother, Marvin, better known as Buddy. And the Golden Thought for today, Gardens are not made by singing, oh how beautiful, and sitting in the shade. How true that is. It takes a lot of care in having a beautiful garden. Of course, we want to ultimately give God the glory for the garden, but it takes the preparation of the soil. It takes the watering, it takes the fertilizer, and yeah, just being there for your garden. That it's a lot of work involved, but then the harvest that you can reap from that is awesome. You can enjoy it at the time, and you can freeze and can and enjoy it later. I said I think of the young families out there that have little ones that take a lot of time invested in their lives, teaching and training, and raising them up. And the day will come that you will be able to look back and not regret the time spent with your children. I just want to bless you all and encourage you just to keep on because it is a lot of work. So our golden thought again is gardens are not made by singing. Oh, how beautiful and sitting in the shade. And with that, we'll bring this to a close. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have enjoyed the episode, we'd ask that you would like it, share it, and subscribe. And we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. So with that, we will leave it to close. Very good, bud. Very good, bud. Okay.